Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins This Math Club. Today's topic is dividing money. So in this lesson, we will be learning how we can equally distribute an amount of money in between a designated amount of people. So today we'll be using word problems to learn this concept of dividing money. So as you can see, our example is Lauren has $128. She wants to equally distribute this money with five of her friends, including herself. How much money will each person receive? And it also says round to the nearest tenths place. Now, as you can see to the right hand corner, we have our steps. And step number one says, look at the total amount of money and this will be your dividend. So now we know that the total amount of money is 128 because it says Lauren has $128. So we'll go ahead and write this down. So we have $128. So step one is complete. Now step two says, identify the number you are dividing by, and this is your divisor. Now the number we're dividing by is going to be the number of people we want to equally distribute this money into. Now here it says, she wants to equally distribute this money with five of her friends, including herself. Now it says including herself, which means it's gonna be five friends plus herself. So five plus one is six. Right? So that means $128 divided into six people. So this is pretty much how we're going to do our setup for our dividing money, right? So now step three is divide your divisor, which is six, into the dividend, which is 128, to get your quotient, which is your answer. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and divide. So we know that 128 is our dividend, and this goes inside the box. And 6 is our divisor, and it goes outside the box. Now what we have to do is find out how many times does 6 go into 128. But first we're going to do is we're going to see how many times 6 goes into 1. Now we know that 1 is smaller is than 6, so we cannot divide 1 divided by 6, so we're going to have to see how many times 6 goes into the number 12. So let's go ahead and write the times table of 6. So we know that 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 and 12 match, so that means it's going to be 6 times 2 is 12. Now go ahead and subtract, and we have a 0, but remember to bring down that 8. Now how many times does 6 go into 8? Well, we know that 6 times 1 is 6. Now if we subtract, 8 minus 6 is 2, and we're left with the remainder. Now keep this thing in mind. When you're dividing money, now it doesn't only have to be division, it could be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, anything that you're dealing with money, you cannot have fractions, but you can have decimals, right? So now we have a remainder. We cannot put this into a remainder form. Like usually if we were doing regular long division, we would have just said 21 remainder 2, but this is division of money. So we're going to go ahead and put a decimal point up here in our quotient and put a zero over here in our remainder of two and to make this into a 20. Now, how many times does six go into 20? Well, let's continue our times table to find out. So we know that six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. Now, 24 is greater than 20. So we're going to have to do six times three, which is 18. And we're left with 2 once again. We're going to add a 0. And 6 times 3 is once again 18. Now, as you can see, we are. this is one of those cases in which you keep on multiplying, but you still have that same remainder. Now, in these cases, what you'll do, now here it says round to the nearest tenths place. This is when this is going to make more sense because now we have our decimal. And remember, this is from one of our very first videos on place value. We learned about the decimal place values. Now, we have this number, 21.33, right? And it says round to the nearest tenths place. And we do this because we have a remainder and it cannot go away. So we're only going to do it up to two decimal places. So we have one, two decimal places, right? And now we're going to round it to the nearest tenths place. Now we know that the first three, which is to the right side of the decimal point, is going to be the tenths place value. And the second three, which is to two places from the decimal point, which is this one, is our hundredths place value, okay? So remember, there's a TH in decimal place values. So now we need to round it to the nearest tenths. Now remember this rule. If the number in, I'm sorry, the digit in the hundredths place value is less than five, 
we will go ahead and eliminate that number and we will keep the same number for the tenths place value. So that means we'll have 21.3. However, if it's more than 5, we will go ahead and round the number in the tenths place to the next digit, which is a 4, right? Because 3 and then comes 4. So that will become 21.4. But we all know that the digit in the hundredths place, which is 3, is less than 5. So we will go ahead and eliminate this. And we are left with 21.3. And this is our answer. Now, so now if we go back to our um, example, our word problem, it says, Lauren has $128. She wants to equally distribute this money with five of her friends, including herself. How much money will each person receive and round to the nearest tenths place? So now we have our answer, which is 21.3. Or now if you look at step four, it says rewrite your quotient in money form, which is just add a dollar sign and write 21.3. Or it's the same thing as $21.30. So this is our answer. So that means each person will receive $21.30. Now I hope you guys understood this topic. Now if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or other topics, please feel free to visit our website at berwinsysmathclub.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!